so much for joining me. Um, today's class, we're going to be focusing on the superficial front line and the superficial back line with a combination of your deep front line. So imagining like your splits positions, just because we're going to be coming into dancer and that position of lifting the heel up to the head <clears throat> in all different variations. So we just need to make sure that we open up through the front and the back first and then deep into the lower part of the body, the lower lines of the body. For today's class, I would recommend bringing a blanket for sensitive knees because we will be on the knees quite a bit, um, just for the quad stretches. And then preferably if you've got two blocks or just two blocks just to provide you a little bit of support. For this class, you will probably need a strap in terms of flexibility for the overhead stretches. Um, I don't use them in my practice and I don't actually have a strap with me, but I will let you know. There are options if you don't have a strap. So when you're ready, I just want you to first also choose one of the breathwork practices which I have included to um, pair with this practice. Um, I do feel that combining the breathwork together with the flow is such a whole, um, wholesome practice. So when you're ready, I want you to roll over the fronts of the shins, sit the hips back towards the heels. Reach the fingertips forward and come into your child's pose. And just stay with your long, slow, deep breaths in from the lower part of the belly, shifting the breath up to the rib cage, the chest, and the heart. Settling into the ground and into position. Very gently look up between the thumbs. Take three rounds of cat cow variations as you inhale with the chin in towards the collarbone, puff up between the shoulder blades. As you exhale, lower belly hips up, head up, draw the hips back towards the heel. Inhale, slowly roll forward, chin to collarbone, puff up. As you exhale, cow, send the hips back towards the heel. Good, one more time. Inhale, slowly draw forward. Feel the motion, the fluidity. Exhale, hips back towards heels. This time, look up between the thumbs. Press the palms forward as you slide into your Ananatasana. Now, the aim is to try and press the chest down towards the mat. I'm not quite there yet. Um, I find this back tight in my shoulders. But just rest in this position, either resting the chin on the ground or the forehead on the ground. Notice the hips are directly above the knees. You're not going over or too back towards the heels. Just till you find that sweet spot between the shoulders. And then from there, just breathing into the position, melting the chest down. Good, and then from there, very gently, all we're going to do is we're going to alter this position by bringing the palms together. Tuck the chin in towards the collarbone, nose to the mat. So all we're doing is we're just deepening the stretch to the shoulders, bringing the hands above the head like a steeple. From here, inhale, look forward. Lower the forearms down to the mat, lower the belly down towards the mat. Once you're lower, press into the palms, point the feet, Arch the heart toward the feet, lift the chin up, hold here for three, for two, take an inhale. As you exhale, very gently lower the shins, lower the belly. Press back up onto the fronts of the shins, create the steeple above the head. Again, rest a little bit more, press a little bit more into the others to press the chest down. Second round, lower the forearms down, lower the belly down. Press into the palms, lift the feet, curl up, hold here for three, hold for two, take an inhale. As you exhale, very gently lower the shins down, press the hips up, and just hold the steeple up here. Again, pressing into the elbows, press the chest down, curl the chin in. This time, lower the forearms down and press into the balls of the feet. Lift the hips up, you can keep a slight bend in the knees, or if it's there for you, you can bring the legs to straight. Keep pressing between the shoulders, keep pressing the palms together. I press the palms together because my top shoulders are quite tight. If you want, you can have the palms down towards the mat. Without changing anything, very gently push into the palms. Come into your down facing dog, pedal into the feet, 
dip into the hips, engage the muscles to the backs of the legs. We're just taking any movement that just wakes the body up. From there, press the heels down towards the mat. Press into the palms. From there, inhale, body roll all the way forward. Come into your high plank. Press the hips towards the heel of the hands, open up, so upward facing dog variation. Take an inhale. Stay. From there, I want you to point through the left toe. Bring the left toe towards the head. Press the hips down, hold for three. Hold for two. Reverse your scorpion charge. Hold the here for three. Lower the right heel down for two. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the left foot down towards the mat, downward facing dog. Second round, inhale, body roll all the way forward, come into your high plank. Press the hips down towards the heel of the hands, upward facing dog variation. Keep pushing, shrugging the shoulders back, point through the right toes, arch the heart. Scorpion charge, reverse the back. Press the left heel down towards the mat as much as is possible, hold for three. Hold for two, drop the right foot next to the left, down and facing dog. On this round, I want you to inhale, body roll all the way forward, come into your high plank. Draw the belly in towards the spine. As you exhale, lower knees, chest and chins and knees, below the hips, chest between the palms, chin on the ground. From here, we're gonna articulate, so that means that we're moving one segment of the spine at a time. Articulate, so draw the belly in, lower the belly down, shrug the shoulders up and away, baby cobra, or high cobra, take an inhale. As you exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky, scorpion the foot, bend into the knee, ground down into your left heel. As you exhale, take your right knee cross body to left tricep, if you can, hold it there. Inhale, reach your right leg all the way up towards the sky, walk in the foot, bend into the knee. Send the right foot all the way behind you as though you're going into wide knee. Bend into the hips, reach the right hand to the outer edge of the left foot without sitting down. Hold for three. Hold for two. Press into the left foot. Lift into your wild thing. High five. Just the space in front of you. Look down towards your left palm. So you bring the right knee to touch the left tricep as close as you can. If you can, hold for three without dropping the right hand down for two. Send the right leg all the way behind you, bend into the hips. Reach the right hand to the outer edge of the left foot. Hold. Inhale, so you press the right hand up towards the sky. Wild kick, push into your left palm. Look down towards your left hand. So you swivel the right knee to left tricep as let's get a tap hold for three. For two, one, step the right foot down, come into your spandasana, palms and chest lengthen up through your spine. Take an inhale, as you exhale, take a seat. Now depending on your flexibility, there are a couple of options. You can drop the knee down, flex the left foot up towards the face, take an inhale. Now this is already feeling challenging, you can pop a block under one thing if you're feeling on you. Stay here with the hand flex to the hips, flex the toes up. Option to fold the chin to the chin to the collarbone, nose to knee. Flex the left toes up towards the face. Hold here for three. Hold for two. Inhale, so you lift the chest up, take the right hand behind the right hip. Swivel, come into your floating Adler Hanuman. Straighten through the right leg, bend into the left knee, flex the right toes up. I want you to feel the line of tension being stretched just behind the right leg. Hold here for three. Hold for two. Bend into your right knee, reach the right arm forward. From here, we're going to pulse into the ball of that back foot. Moving faster than my count for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reach the right arm foot, press into the ball of the left foot. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the left knee down. Reach the arms coming all the way up, low lunge. Now if you know that your left knee is quite sensitive, please grab the blanket, pop it under the knee, now I'll give you time. From here, I want you to cactus open across the chest and the heart. 
So when you cactus, press the hips forward, make sure that your right ankle is not behind the knee. I'm going to bring that right foot forward, sink into the hips, press the chest forward, as though the elbows are going to touch at the back. Without dropping the neck back, I want you to tuck the chin in so that the squeeze is coming between the shoulder blades. Stay for three. Stay for two. From here, we're going to inhale, scoop forward. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, scoop forward. Exhale, draw back. One more time. Inhale, scoop forward. Exhale, draw back. Perhaps send your gaze further up towards the ceiling. For three. For two. Inhale, slowly look forward. Now, from here, this is where you might need to grab your two blocks. Place them on either side of the hips. Now, I generally don't need them, but just for today, I want to show you. So, from this position, I want you to come onto the ball of the right foot. You're going to use your blocks next to the hips. You're going to shrug the shoulders back, and you're going to lift, point the back foot up. So, if you don't need blocks, you're going to move, bring the fingertips down towards the mat, Open up across the throat, hold here for three, for two. Inhale, so you look forward, come into your ideal Hanuman, straighten through the right leg. And we've got two more rounds, so feel free to use your blocks or no blocks. Good. Inhale, so you press forward, so come onto the ball of the right foot. Point through the back toes, arch the heart, hold here for three. Two. Inhale, so you look forward. Arvind Hanuman. And just again, feeling into that tension behind the leg. Really just stretch it out. Your last round. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Lift the heel up, shrug the shoulders back. Inhale, so you look forward. This time, keep the shin up. Draw the left heel in towards the back. Now, you have a couple of options. If the revolve grip doesn't work for you, use the right hand on the inner edge, outer edge of the foot, whichever way works best. This is not a side stretch, so I want you to press the left shoulder forward so the cold won't smile towards the front of the mat. This is quite an intense quad stretch, so just breathe into this one for three, two, one. Very gently release the left shin down. I'm just going to grab the blanket, the foot a little bit hard. Reach the left arm forward, send the right arm behind you. We're on the wall of that back foot. From here, I want you to straighten through the right leg. Keep the ball of the right foot down. Reach your right hand towards the back of the left ankle. Arch the heart, tuck the chin. By arching the heart, I mean press the hips up towards the sky. Inflate the belly and open up. Nothing changes. Keep the right hand in the back of the left ankle. We're just opening the heart up more. Working into your left hip flexor. Reach back, tuck the chin. Hold for three. Don't tuck the chin. Open the... Sorry, open the throat as you reach back. Stay for three, stay for two. As you lift the chest up, lower the left hand down, draw the left heel in towards the glute. Now your option one is to stay on the left palm, come onto the blade edge of your right foot. Or option, lower down onto your left forearm. Again, this is an intense quad stretch. So just be gentle with the body. If it's too hold hard to hold the foot here, you can just do it energetically by squeezing it in. Make sure that you're on the blade edge of your right foot and then just sit with your breath. Inhale, draw the chin into the elbow. As you exhale, we lower the chest and into the elbows. 
Inhale, slowly lift up. As you exhale, slowly lower it down. Press the chest down. Hold here for four. For three. Two. One. Inhale, slowly lift the chest up. Now, you have a couple of options here, again, depending on flexibility, stability. Option one, you can draw the left heel in towards the back, revolve the grip. You can draw the hand to the inner edge, outer edge. Um, you can also take mermaid. Side stretch, moving a bit into your spiral lines here, into the twisting. If this doesn't work for you, your last option is to also take both hands to the front of the ankle, flex the foot back, arch the heart. Now I know giving so many options is quite tricky. Um, just go with the one that works best for you or with whatever you're working on, whatever you'd like to. Take an inhale. As you exhale, very gently release. Good. And slowly drag the left heel in front of the right shin. Take the hands to either side of your hips. Press into the fingertips. Come into your standing foot variation. Now I've chosen standing foot variation for a reason. Fold the chin in towards the collarbone, nose into knee. Fold. Now here's where you can use your one block under the left hand if you need to. You're going to take your right hand to the outer edge of the right ankle. If you are struggling with your keeping your left leg straight, push into a block on, under the left palm. But otherwise push into the palm or push into the fingertips. Kick the shin towards the back of the room. You want to create space between the calf and the hamstring. As you exhale, drop the right foot wide from the left. Bend into the knees so you're catching the body with suspension. Because we drop the right leg down, I want you to rotate. Swing that left hand behind you. Push onto the balls of the feet. Press the hips forward and just lean back as far as the body will allow you. Tuck the chin. Hold for three. Hold for two. Inhale, sweep forward. Drop the right hand down. Left hand follows. Inhale, half of the part lengthen through the spine. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, half of the cup. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reverse some down the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, palms to chest. Very gently close the eyes. Everyone taking one long slow deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth side. Feel the eyes open. Inhale, so you reach the hands coming all the way up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, half of the cup length through the spine. As you exhale, step or jump back to your high plank. Lower knees, chest, and chin. <laughs> Block is in the way. And from your knees, chest, and chin, articulate the belly down, shrug the shoulders up, take an inhale. Exhale, send the hips up and back, down and facing dog. Starting on the other side, inhale, reach the left leg up towards the sky, scorpion the foot bend into the knee. Take an inhale. As you exhale, left knee to right tricep, cross body, fold. Inhale, reach your left leg up towards the sky. Scorpio the foot, bend into the knee, drop the foot into wild thing, bend into the hips, take your left hand to the outer edge of the right foot without sitting down, hold for three, hold for two, inhale, press the left hand up towards the sky, wild thing, high five, whatever's in front of you, look towards your left hand, high five. From there, take your left knee to the right tricep, keep the left arm up as though it's going to tap, if it taps, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Just keep working for it for three, for two. Good. Send the left foot back. Bend into the hips. Left hand towards the outer edge of the right foot. So strong. Press up into your wild thing. Open up across the chest and the heart. 
Second round, look down towards your right arm. Take your left knee to right tricep. Whatever you're doing, every effort counts. So just stay with your breath. Stay with focus. Hold for three. Hold for two. Drop your left foot down, land in your skandasana. Palms and chest, lengthen through the spine. Just going to take this off. Just Take an inhale. As you exhale, take a seat. Drop your left knee down, depending on flexibility. You might need to sit one hip on a block. Otherwise, flex the toes up. Option one. Option two, fold towards the leg, your right leg. Tuck the chin in. And we flex, and you'll feel the line of tension behind that right leg. Inhale, so you lift the gaze up. Take your left hand behind the left hip. We lift the knee up. Come into your floating arm. Your hand on bend into the right knee, straighten through the left. Again, feel into that line of tension behind your left leg. Bend into your left knee, push into your right palm, reach the left arm up, hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press into the ball of the right foot, reach forward with the left. From there, very gently lower the right knee down, reach the arms coming all the way up, come into your low lunge. I'm going to grab the blanket for my knee.
exhale very gently release the back shin down. We're going to come into our pigeon prep. Again, if you notice that your left hip is lifting off quite a bit, you can always just pop a block underneath to provide you with that support. Otherwise, pressing onto the fingertips, inhale, lengthen up through the chest. As you exhale, the chest lengthen into the elbows. Inhale, lift up, undulate through the breath. As you exhale, very gently lower down. Last one, inhale, slowly lift up. And as you exhale, bend into the elbows, lower and hold. Now take your right heel towards the outer edge of the hip. So your option one is to bring the hand below the grip. You can bring your left hand on a block next to the left hip. Press the heart forward. Option two, come into your mermaid pose. So you hook the foot in the elbow nook. Reach the left arm behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Press the hips to square as much to square with a side opening. Take an inhale. Exhale very gently. Release the shin down. Release the arms. Take the right heel to the front of the left shin. <sighs> so intense. Bring the hands next to the hips. Come into your stand split variation. This time your left knee is next to the right knee in your standing split variation. Point through the toe, tuck the chin in towards the collarbone, nose to knee. From there, I want you to take your left hand to the outer edge of your left ankle. You're going to press if you need more space, more length. You're going to pop the right hand onto a block. Kick the shin towards the back of the room. Feel into the space, the stretch. Take an inhale. Exhale, step the left foot wide on the mat, land the foot. Bend into the knees as though you're catching suspension. Reach the right arm behind you, press onto the balls of the feet, thrust the hips forward, lean back as far as feels good. Stay for three. Stay for two. Inhale, so you look forward. Drop the left hand down, right to follow. Inhale, half a look up length and one breath this time. Exhale, release. From there, heel toe the feet together. Inhale, reverse one dive, the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, comes to chest. Very gently close the eyes. Taking one long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth side. Very gently feel the eyes open. Inhale, reach the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, everything fall. Inhale, half of the up, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, step or jump back, high plank. Lower knees, chest and chin. Articulate through the spine, draw the belly in and up, shrug the shoulders back, take an inhale. As you exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Move away with blankets or blocks. We're gonna go into our sun salutations. Sun salutation A. So look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees. I want you to jump, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reverse one down, the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, comes to chest. Inhale, interlace the fingers, reach the arms up, press the hips forward, lean back. Inhale, so you look forward, release the hands coming all the way down. Inhale, half of the cup, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, you can try to catch your hands down. Pop, step. We'll try it again. And chaturanga. Inhale, so you lift up. Exhale, send it up and back. Good, look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees. I want you to jump step, hop, handstand, whatever you've got. Inhale, half look up as you exhale to fold. Inhale, reverse one, have the arms coming all the way up. 
Exhale, pulse the chest. Inhale, interlace the fingers, press the hips forward, lean back, ears between the bicep. Inhale, so you lift as you exhale, fold. Inhale, half the look up, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, hop, step, jump. Hands down to Chaturanga, inhale, so you lift up. Exhale, hands up and back. Downward facing dog. This is your last round. So look up between the palms, like you're bending at the knees. Jump, step. Inhale, half the look up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reverse one down, the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, palms to chest. Very gently close the eyes. And take one long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth side. Feel the eyes open. Inhale, reach the arms coming all the way up. Interlace the fingers, press the hips forward, lean back. Slowly lift up, release the hands. Forward fold. Inhale, half a look up. And as you exhale,
play with taking flight. And then when you're ready, step or jump back. Hold your high plank. Hold your high plank. Lower knees, chest and chin. Take a few breaths. Inhale, slowly articulate up and forward, shrug the shoulders back. Come into your down face. Going on the left hand side. Inhale, reach your left leg up towards the sky. Strong point through the toe, come onto the ball of the right foot. Bend to the right knee. So the switch to the left foot. Reach the left leg up towards the sky. You're going to the switch to the top of the mat. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Bend to the right knee. Switch the left foot to the top of the mat. Reach the arms coming all the way up. Find your crescent. From here we're going to pulse to the ball of the back foot. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one sink, hold. Draw the belly in up. From here, cactus, bend into the right knee, march the heart. Make it a back bend. From there, Arya Hanuman, floating. Straighten through the left leg, bend into the right knee. As you dive forward, tuck the chin, play with lifting the ball of the foot up. If you start losing your balance, it's okay. Drop the ball of the foot down. <laughs> From there, bend into the left knee. Lower the right knee down. Reach the hands behind the head as though you're going to catch the foot in the hands. Arch the heart. Inhale. As you exhale, drop the foot. Floating around your Hanuman, straighten through. The left leg, bend into the right knee. Again, play with your options. Keep the ball of the foot down. Lift it up. Drop the hands down. Catch your floating. Bend into the right knee more. Look up towards the top of the mat. Launch the right foot to the top of the mat. Bend into the knee. Sweep the left arm up. Press onto the balls of the feet, surrender the hips forward. Drop back, wild thing variation. Open up across the chest and the heart. Hold here for three. Hold for two. Bend into the hips. Drop the right palm down, left palm follows. Inhale, reach the right leg up towards the sky. Perhaps hold your standing split first. And then, if you took them on the other side, take your hands and box. So I'm just going to step back. Normally, you just need to move your palms to palms ahead, but I'm going to pop one here. So, set your palms. Come onto the ball of the left foot. Use your right leg as the lever. Sink, step. 
stay. Draw the belly in and up, lengthen through the spine. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend into the knee, cactus open across the chest and the heart. Slowly look forward, straighten through the right leg, bend into the left, reach the fingertips behind you. If it's there, lift the ball of the foot up. Inhale again. As you exhale, lower the left knee down towards the mat. This time, you can grab your blanket or you can grab your strap because we're gonna go into the deeper variation. So option one, stay in this variation. Option two, take your strap, create a loop around the foot, bring the strap up above the head, squeeze the elbows together, keep the ears between the biceps. Option three, if it's in your practice, only if it's in your practice, you can use the hands. Take an inhale, very gently release. Whew. All we're going to do now is we're just going to lift, oh, lift up onto the ball of the back foot. Bring the arms up towards the side. We're going into an overstretch, so if anything, walk the left foot, the right foot further away from you. Reach the arms up towards the side. And really take an inhale. Exhale, sink lower, just hold. Inhale again. Exhale, drop the hands down, catch. Come onto the heel of the right leg, slide it closer to the body. I want you to fold the chin to the inner edge of the thigh or the knee, flex the toes up. Look up towards the top of the mat. I want you to use your left knee as a spring. Arms up, step the left foot, next to the right. Bend into the knees. Now because we dropped the left foot down, we're going to bend into the knees, reach the right arm up. And I just want you to play with this motion of rocking back and forward. Second round, bend into the knees. Rock back and bring it forward. This last one, we're going to land in that wild thing variation. So your right hand is going to reach to the back left of the mat. So press into the balls of the feet. Surrender the hips forward. Take your right hand to the back left of the mat. Come into that wild thing on the fingertips or palm. Stay here for three, for two. Bend into the hips. Point the feet towards the top of the mat. Reach your left leg up towards the sky into a warrior three variation. Draw the left knee in towards the nose and slide. The left heel down towards the mat. Press onto the right knee. Extend the arms into a rolling low lunge. I'm going to use the blanket under my knee for this one. Reach the arms up towards the side. Take your left hand to the back of the right ankle, straighten through your left leg. Keep the ball of the foot down, tuck the chin. That is the heart to the heart. Just tuck the chin here, keep pressing the hips up. So just notice the hips are not sitting on the heel. I did notice that in class when I was teaching it today. And from here, bend into your left knee. You want to feel this in your right hip flexor, arch the heart. As though you're doing a kneeling dance, I'll hold for three, for two. Inhale, so you look forward. Lift the heel up, come onto the blade edge of your left foot, lower the right forearm down, squeeze the heel in towards the glute. Option to stay on the palm. Take an inhale, exhale, very gently release. Come into your preparation for pigeon. Now this time we're going to take king pigeon. So again, you have the option. So if you want, you have the option to take um, pigeon where you can just make it more of a heart opener. If you use the strap, you'll take a loop around the strap, hug the elbows together, or you can just hold this position. Or your last option is if you feel that you have the balance, the flexibility. Inhale, sleep forward. 
forward, very gently release the shin down. Good. Very gently bring whoo, the right heel in front of the left shin. Press into the fingertips. Come into your stance with variation. Draw the heel in towards the back, point through the toes. And from here, take your left hand to the outer edge of the left ankle. Press the shin towards the back, arch the hop. Now from here, if it's there for you, I want you to charge up into your dancer's pose. So your option is to stay here in dancer, or if you know that you can take the full variation, where you flip the grip, that's your option.
Use the momentum, step the right foot to the top of the mat. Bend into the knees. We land the right foot, you're going to slap extend. Your left hand behind you, press into the balls of the feet. And just play with this TikTok motion. So bend into the knees, sweep the left arm behind you. Press the hips up, lower the fingertips down. Generally, I noticed with my students when I was teaching it today, generally as people come back, they tend to depress into this region instead of opening up to find that expansion. So I want you to really try to find that expansion. So on this last round, come to the balls of the feet, bend into the knees, press the hips forward, sweep the left hand behind you, you're going to catch the floor, wild thing variation, open up. Bend into the hips. I don't even know if that's a thing. But just <laughs> lower the hips down towards the heels. Twist the feet. Reach the right heel towards the behind you. So almost a warrior three variation. Bend the right knee towards the nose. Slide the heel forward. Lower the left knee down. That's a little bit sticky. Bend into the right knee. Come into your revolve low lunge. That's a really beautiful transition that I picked up in one of the classes that I went to from Dylan Werner. It's probably the one that stuck with me the most. From here, I want you to straighten through your right leg. Keep the ball of the right foot down. Right hand goes to the back of the left ankle. Arch the heart. Breathe. Mm. Bend into your right knee. Kneeling dancer, imagine that. Nothing changes, we're still holding that back ankle. Open up, take an inhale, so you look forward, lift the heel up as you drop the left palm down. Come into the blade edge of your right foot, option to lower down into the forearm, squeeze the heel in towards the glute. It's quite again, quite intense, and just stay with the breath. Loosen the 
body and you can shake it off. Forward fold. Let everything drip. Let everything hang. Inhale, half of the up. As you exhale, step or your back. High plank. Lower knees, chest and chin. Articulate, lower the belly, shrug the shoulders back. Lift up as you inhale, as you exhale, low down onto the forearms. Going into outer bed, cast and take your right hand to the left. Bring your left heel to the outer edge of the left hip. You can revolve the grip, press the foot down, press the hip down. And try to squeeze the knees a little bit together, don't let them sway out too far. Lift up and out of the right forearm. Try not to crunch the right ear down towards the right shoulder as you're sitting on the foot point. Press it up and out. And take an inhale. As you exhale, you gently release. And switch left hand over towards the right. Right heel comes to the outer edge. Squeeze the knees a little bit closer together. Lift up and out of the right forearm. Hold the to come forward. You can stay here and just keep stretching that right one, or you can take the double variation. The double variation means you're doing both at the same time. It's going to be this way. When you do both at the same time, you have to lower the chest down and grab the reverse grip of both. Press the heels down. Press into the diaphragm. Lift up, hold for three. Two, very gently release. Hard to talk. And then from there, we're going to go into a variation of bow. So if you can, kick the feet into the hands. Option one, bow is here. Option two, bow, hands to the inner edges of the ankles. And if you walk the hands close to the knees, it's a little bit deeper, come through the toes. Lift up. Option three, is to take your revolved grip, hands to the outer edges of the feet, and revolve the grip up. Good, and then very gently lift, come down, and just sway the hips. Take a moment to catch your breath. And then very gently press into the palms. And I want you to bring the knees more to the top of the mat. We're going to go into rabbit pose. So come onto the balls of the feet. So just watch. Try tuck the chin in towards the collarbone. Bring the crown of the head down towards the mat. Bring the nose as close to the knees as possible. Hook the hands onto the backs of the heels. And as I press the hips up, I look towards the belly button. Draw onto the heels and I feel the stretch all along back, the shoulders, the so, so nice, the neck. Very gently bend the knees, extend the arms out towards the side, take an inhale, 
As you exhale, drop both knees down towards the left, look over to the right, arm twist. When you feel ready, draw the knees into the chest, tuck the knees. Take an inhale and as you exhale, roll onto your right or left hand side. I'm going to take my left. And then when you're ready, so press yourself up to see the position. Palms and chest center, very gently closing the eyes. Everyone taking one more slow deep breath in. Exhale over from the mountain side. We'll be closing with a single arm. Deep breath in. Oh, oh. We take the thumbs to the lips. We thank the body for today's practice. We take the thumbs to the third eye. We thank the spirit for guiding us through. And we bow down to all those who practiced before us and to all those who practiced with us. Thank you. Slowly, gently coming up, slowly, gently opening the eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me, yogis. This makes me so happy after a day of full of teaching, being able to come here and know that I can share a little bit more with you. It brings so much joy to my heart. I hope that you had a wonderful practice. Please share how this experience was for you. Sending you so much love.